all right so how's it going everybody hope you're all doing well and hey before we get into it press on that like button so more people could watch that video and if you want to see more videos of that kind subscribe to the channel this would help me a lot actually if you press on that like button so i would appreciate it you know this is a really cool way to help your boy out so in case you're living under a rock fortnite season 3 chapter 2 has been out for like a week and performance was not that good but i have to say if the last two to three days after like a minor update they made i believe performance has have got a lot better than it was it was really laggy a lot of pcs couldn't even hit 200 frames per second but still the, the game every freaking season gets more demanding so i guess that's something we should put in mind from now on and we have to live with so my advice to you is to switch to 900p a lot of pro fortnite players right now play at 900p because this game is getting more demanding with time and I mean, Bizzle plays at 900p as uh, I remember, and a lot of pros actually switch to that res. It, you can get like an extra 20 to 30 frames per second on average, and maybe like 10 to 15 on 1% lows. But that uh, gameplay you're looking at is a comparison between 1080p to 720p. 720p isn't, you know, a favorable resolution to a lot of people. So 900p seems to be the sweet spot. And, uh, in case you're wondering, this PC is rocking the same CPU you're looking at its performance right now. So it only gets better, you know. And when you get into like these competitive sacked end games, you'll be hovering around 120 frames per second or even 90 when it gets to all time lowest you know when it's like 50 players in one small zone for the cpu we're looking at the ryzen 7 3700x it's an 8 core 16 threaded cpu it's one of the best cpus on the market right now when it comes to value it's not considered a high-end gpu for today you know it's not the best gaming G cpu when you compare it to something like the 10600k but the thing is that you cannot find the 10600k anywhere and if you found it you'd have to pay like an extra 200 dollars to get a decent board and 80 to 90 dollars for a decent water cooler so you can unlock the full performance of it. and if you know a lot about pc parts then you know that the ryzen 5 3600 xt that's going to replace the 3600x is for like 250 bucks this cpu in gaming is like two to three percent different or higher when it comes to gaming performance to the 3600 but on top of that you're getting an 8 core 16 threaded cpu that's good at streaming you will have a lot of great performance when compared to a 12 threaded cpu and also when it comes to video editing and rendering and all these you know cpu intensive tasks you'll have better performance so for 275 bucks it makes the best value for money cpu in my opinion and i'll leave that to you but this is just my opinion so you can also look at bnh for a video at uh, the gigabyte b550m ds3h now this is not an affiliated link but this board is one of the newest boards you can get on the market right now both boards are you know ryzen 4000 series compatible so you can upgrade in the future of course but i believe that's b550 so you're getting that pcie 4.0 even though it's not that necessary and also it's ryzen 4000 ready and it's one of the newest boards that came out recently so you cannot go wrong with either options but you know the the one combo that you'll get most of the money out and a lot of value is b550 m board and 16 gigabytes of ddr4 3600 megahertz ram and the ryzen 3700x seems like a good trade-off for me and you cannot go wrong with you know 16 gigs at all for the ssd we're looking at a one terabyte ssd for around 90 to 95 bucks and that's a lot of space in my opinion so yeah again you cannot go wrong with it you're getting these fast speeds and you'll not be held back with any of that as for the gpu we're looking at two options but i would go with the nvidia rtx 2060 super it's for around 400 bucks the reason you'd go with like an nvidia gpu if you're a fortnite pro player because they tend to perform better on fortnite and also there is that invent encoder that gives you better performance at streaming and there's ray tracing but if you're a fan of that you know but the rx 5700 xt can be you know you can get it for cheaper price and also it can perform better at some titles but not all of them but i would go with the rtx 2060 super it's for 400 bucks it's really good performing you know it's got 8 gigs of vram just like the 5700 xt and other games like warzone i mean these are the only two games i play so i'm, I'm talking about them you'd get at around 150 to 160 frames or even higher i can't like exactly tell but i'm pretty sure you hit 144 frame rates so yeah you cannot go wrong with this gpu at all and it gives you really good value for money not the best but it's really good for what you're getting for the power supply we're looking at the evj 600 watt 80 plus power supply for around 70 bucks 
It's on Amazon right now in stock, I believe. And it's more than enough for this PC, you know, 600 watt actually is a lot for this PC and you can upgrade to a higher GPU in the future because GPUs like tend to be more power efficient than a higher or more power hungry uh, than newer ones. So yeah, I guess 600 watt is more than enough again and this EVGA, so it's a really trusted brand. I know that some people would go with semi-modular power supplies or fully modular ones, but the thing is that there aren't a lot of PSUs in stock right now and they are very high in price. So getting that one is really good and you can also get away with like 500 to 550 watt power supply. As for the case, I'd leave three options for you. You could go with the NZXT H510, it's a really good case, it's a really good looking case, you know, it's from NZXT. And they make really quality cases for the price or you can go with the brand new cooler master case that comes with three rgb fans out of the box and it's for around 100 bucks or you could go with the corsair iq i believe 120t or 220 i can i don't remember exactly i also like that one a lot and it's got that really satisfying rgb look in it and they all look good but i leave that to you you can even get away with the zelman s5 case which is for like 50 bucks yeah, it's, it's your like money and you cannot go wrong with any option. So that's been it guys. Again, if you like that video, press on that like button. And if you have a friend of you that's willing to get like a thousand dollars gaming PC for streaming or, you know, and playing Fortnite, I guess that's that one is a really good one. I don't know if it could play like Fortnite 240 FPS while streaming but i think it can i mean i've seen a video with the rtx 2070 super and there's 3700x and he was able to play at 1440p 144 hertz stable so i guess it's capable of that but i'm pretty sure that you should lower down the res to 900p and you can actually rescale the streaming you know to 1080p there's no problem in doing that you can do it so easily you'll find a lot of tutorials online if you're actually willing to go to get into streaming also gaming in general i believe this is a really good value for money pc and the 3700x gives you a really good you know gaming you know frame rates boost when you compare it to something like a 3600 or 3600 x of course the 10600 k is out of comparison 100 percent but the thing is that you can't find it anywhere and like the cpu cpu cooler board would hover around 400 bucks 450 bucks while that one is like 100 dollars cheaper or something like that so again subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind and check out the 700 bucks gaming pc build and i'll see you in the next one peace my dudes